I actually loved the Pixar movies as a kid and we're talking Luxo Jr. and the first Toy Story here and I found it really fascinating what you can do inside of a computer and with a computer in terms of really simple 3D uh, geometric shapes and that you could animate them and, and tell a story with them. So I found that quite fascinating and then I also had the idea when I was still in high school that I really wanted to study people. Being a psychologist always kind of excited me and I was enamored with the idea that I could actually help people and improve their experience when they interact with technology. And so with computer games I was just very excited in studying the effects of computer games and what people thought about um, the games that they were playing and how it impacted their whole life and how it could also be used to make their lives better, to engage them with something that they didn't think was engaging and to really study the positive and negative influences that computer games can have on human beings. So HCI in games is sort of an umbrella term. Uh, Human-computer interaction in games is not just the interaction part but oftentimes also the evaluation part of computer gaming. So it has aspects of user experience and it has aspects of interaction design. And it helps us develop better games and better interactive technology. So the HCI Games Group is my research group and this includes all of my graduate students and research assistants that are working on games and player experience research. And it's really quite an exciting group of people. Um, it's students that are very interested in finding out um, what makes people engaged in games. Uh, it's a lot of talent there, a lot of different interdisciplinary backgrounds, people from the arts, people from computer science, they're all working together and trying to figure out what makes games exciting and how to create better games. Gamification involves the use of game design principles in systems that primarily support non-game tasks. So the goal here is to increase fun, engagement and motivation. And I've been involved in the definition of the term and I've been involved in leading the academic movement around that term and we're really researching a lot of different aspects of gamification. One of the primary ones currently is looking at personality theory and how you can personalize gamification in different ways. So in games user research, we're trying to develop new methods and improve existing methods of player testing. Now player testing is when you bring in a couple of players that are excited about your game and you let them play the game while you're observing them or you're recording physiological measures or maybe you're interviewing them afterwards to try and find out how their experience was. Another area that I really care about is games for human health and fitness. This is not so much about creating a new sport or creating a specific physiological exercise uh, or health application, but it's about using technology to make physical activity more engaging. Now, effective gaming is specifically looking at psychophysiological analysis and physiological sensors to track the sentiments when we're gauging entertainment, cognition and player emotions. And it's really trying to find quantitative measures together with qualitative interviews and other uh, subjective assessment measures to try and get a good idea of the experience that people are having. Finally, I'm very interested in social relationship building games where we develop games and installations that can be used in public spaces to build relationships and to foster social interaction in groups. Pokemon Go is a great example of how people are using location-based gaming to get together for activities that are not necessarily just gaming but can also lead to social interactions and social engagement. And games have become pervasive everywhere. So we're really all game players and we're all engaged with game in some form. So this makes them a very important factor for technology innovation and technology development. And that's quite exciting because games are test beds for new technology and they allow us to really try out things that weren't possible before. <laughs>